Hi guys. Uh, hope you guys are all doing well. This is the next day, but uh, I just want to catch up, you guys. I I'm heading to Peppers right now to congratulate my pops for doing so well. He uh, was doing drag races today at the uh, Samoa Drag Strip. He has a cute little uh, 69 Carmen Gia all done up. So apparently he got to the semifinals today. I believe today was the last race day. So yeah, we're gonna go to Peppers, celebrate, woohoo, have a fun time, all that good stuff. I'm still sick as a dog, so that's exciting. I just feel pressure everywhere in my head. <laughs> I just, I just literally just woke up from a three hour nap after not waking up until 11. So, yay me. Uh, I hope you guys are all feeling much better, or at least feel better than I do. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I want to eat. I am, you know, when you get that like sick feeling, well, not a sick feeling, but when you're sick and you just, you just don't eat, like you're like, eh, I don't want to eat. Not really, I'm not really feeling it right now. It's kind of how I feel right now, but hopefully peppers will, uh, help to my appetite, so that's all I can hope for. Sequins, all their pumpkins out. Oh, oh yay! I need to figure. I need to start decorating for Halloween. I mean, yes, I know it's September, but Halloween is mine and my sister's favorite holiday. My older sister is favorite holiday. So I'll have to figure out what and how I want to decorate the house. Then again, I have absolutely no clue if I'm going to be working or not, which is always a problem. Uh, asshole party. <laughs> um, so I'll need to check and see what my schedule is. If I'm not working, then I am totes going to be dressing up and giving out candy to people. However, if I am working, I'm still going to be in a costume because apparently at my pet store, they allow people to um, dress up. So I'm super excited. It's the first time I'm actually going to be able to dress up for work. Pardon me. Um, yeah, it's going to be the first time I'll actually be able to dress up for work and I am super excited. I have zero costumes, so I'll have to, uh, um, find a costume. I've been debating on doing Little Red Riding Hood. It's simple and it's easy and it's uh, appropriate for work. I can make it appropriate for it. But, uh, let's see. If you guys maybe have any suggestions, definitely uh, write them in the comments below and I'll shift through them and see uh, what maybe I should do for Halloween. I'm excited. Sorry, it's way too hot here and I'm waiting for them. No, not all the way. Just like that. Ooh. Um,. Yeah, waiting at Peppers right now for them. I'm really super excited. I'm proud for Papa. But, yeah. Yeah, uh, favorite ho Halloween. Favorite holiday is Halloween. You guys should tell me what your guys' favorite holiday is in the comments below. So I get to know. I mean, I know my older sister and I have always loved Halloween. We're kind of horror freaks. We love all things horror and just weird shit like that. And plus, you know, when you think about it, Halloween is basically the one day where not only normal people but cosplayers can be like, you know what? Fuck all of you. This is a national holiday. So, I'm dressing up. You can't say shit. So, it's, it's kind of like a, an annual anime expo day, but not really. It's just entertaining how... Some people get so offended about 
cosplaying, but then they love Halloween. It's like, you know, they're basically, on the most basis of scales, the same thing, right? But, uh, yeah, so, usually my sister is, the, my older sister is the one that does all the decorations and has all the fun stuff, but this year, since it's just gonna be, I don't know, uh, 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 mm, mm, I don't know about that. I think like maybe it's just gonna be my little sister and my dad and I. Uh, mm, things happen around Halloween which are never accounted for. One year my sister went off to college and we're like, oh, this is gonna be our first year without uh, Jeanette. And then, we had, so, Hannah, my little sister, and I all, you know, we got the party going, we got people over, we were having lots of fun. And then we get this strange knock at the door. We're like, well, I'm pretty sure everyone's here. What the hell? So, I go and open the door, and on the welcome mat, there's a CD. It's like, what is this? I pick it up, it's all sharpie blacked out and bullshit and i'm like dad look look at this so he takes it and he's like let's put it in <laughs> now all of us have seen way too many fucking horror movies so of course <laughs> my sister and mine's best friend is black and she's just like well hell no you're gonna put that in you always know what happens in horror movies the black lady dies first <laughs> She's all freaking out because as we start playing the disc, it's just all like, like all like demonic and stuff. And so we're just like, whoa, this is really fucking creepy. So I go in my room and grab my uh, my bamboo sword, my shanai. Don't know what the fuck's bamboo. But uh, I go and I grab my shanai and. I'm kind of, you know, we're standing all in the group in the living room listening to this video, or this CD for some reason. My little sister has her hands over her head, she's like, la 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 la, I'm not gonna get cursed, I'm not gonna get cursed, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And so, uh, my dad's like, Krista, go, uh, check the back window, check the side glass door, because we had people outside, we, uh, we had older guests and they were smoking outside, I'm like, okay. So with Shania in hand, I start going towards the kitchen. So our living room and our kitchen are connected by, they're just con they're, uh, connected. So I walk into the kitchen and I start scanning the three windows that are in the kitchen. One's over the sink, one's right by the dinner table, and then there's the sliding glass doors. I scan, scan, whoosh! right over the kitchen window because i see this red mask this creepy ass smiling red mask in the kitchen window i'm just like hey sarah the reason why i say sarah is not because i'm being racist or black at all it's because she is a black belt she knows how to defend herself and at the time that was the only person i could think of <laughs> So I say, hey, Sarah, and Sarah pops her head around, and the figure starts running. And so the only thing that Sarah sees is the figure in the second window by the dining table, and she's like, oh, fuck no. And she tries to start bolting it, but the, uh, the figure goes, runs, runs, and comes through the sliding glass door, because it was open, and it spreads its arm out in front of me, and I'm just like, I, here I am with my bamboo sword, I'm like, ah! I step to the side and the figure goes and hugs Sarah and then we all get it it was my older sister being a total bitch <laughs> she had this whole elaborate plan figured out with by her and my father that she was gonna come and surprise a dick out of us which happened because I will admit I was a little afraid and the only reason, the only reason why I did not whack her with my bamboo sword was because 
because as she was running, she has this giant, you know, black cloak on and stuff. As she was running, the cloak formed her body, and I saw her boobs. Like, her boobs were silhouetted from the cloak. So I was just like, ah! I recognize those boobs. I should let them pass. <laughs> that was the essence of why I did not hit her. And of course, after I told her that, we all had a fucking heyday. If you guys ever see my older sister, you will understand that we nicknamed her Matsumoto for a reason. <laughs> and she gets all the shit for that. So... Yeah, Halloween's always a good time of year, and hopefully, uh, this year will be just as exciting. Kinda. I hope I get to see it. my older sister, maybe. She's currently in Mississippi in the Air Force, so... I get to talk to her, and I get to, uh, see her every once in a while, but, you know, it's, it's kinda difficult with her being away. So... Yeah. I've also been debating on setting up a Halloween carving party. That'll be fun! Yeah, I love carving pumpkins. They're so much fun. So. <clears throat> Alright guys, well I hope you have a lovely day. I think my father and little sister and are going to be here soon. So, I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember to smile.